Question 13. What is use of host monitoring status in HA cluster? Answer. Let's take an example. You are performing network maintenance activity on your switches which connects your one of the ESX host in HA cluster. Question 14. How to specify a failover host admission control policy work? Answer. In the specify a failover host admission control policy, we can define a specific host as a dedicated failover host. When isolation response is detected, HA attempts to restart the virtual machines on the specified failover host. In this approach, dedicated failover hits will be sitting idle without actively involving or not participating in DRS load balancing. DRS will not migrate or power on placement of virtual machines on the defined failover host. Question 15. What is VM monitoring status? Answer. How will usually monitors ESX hosts and reboot the virtual machine in the failed hosts in the other host in the cluster in case of host isolation but I need the hard to monitors for virtual machine failures also. Here the feature called VM monitoring status as part of HA settings. VM monitoring restarts the virtual machine if the VMware tools heartbeat didn't received with the specified time using monitoring sensitivity. Question 16. Explain does HA declare or determines that master ESXi has isolated? Answer. In the case of the isolation of a master, this timeline is a bit less complicated because there is no need to go through an election process. In this timeline, S refers to seconds. T0 isolation of the host, master. T0 master pings, isolation addresses. T5s, master declares itself isolated and triggers, isolation response. Question 17. Is admission control policy is dependent on vCenter server and will admission control policy will work if your vCenter is not available? Answer. Yes, admission control policy is dependent on vCenter server although it is part of HA and we all know HA works independently of vCenter server. Admission control policies don't work when at the time of failure of an ESXi host, vCenter server is not available. This doesn't mean VM that were running on failed host will not be restarted, but Whatever policy you have chosen that policy will not work. Question 18. How does HA determines that ESXi host is network partitioned? Answer. There is a slight difference between ESXi host isolation and network partitioned. When multiple slave ESXi hosts has isolated together but they can ping each other then this condition is known as network partitioned. Question 19. Which parameter need to configure to increase the response time for isolation detection? Answer. You can configure a parameter called, thus, isolation shutdown, timeout. The value of this parameter is specified in minutes and it is time which will be taken by HA to gracefully shut down a VM when isolation response is set to, shut down VM, and it is triggered. Question 20. What are the cases when election of master takes place in a cluster? Answer. A master is elected by a set of HA agents whenever the agents are not in network contact with a master. A master election thus occurs when HA is first enabled on a cluster and when the host on which the master is running, fails, becomes network partitioned or isolated, is disconnected from vCenter server, is put into maintenance or standby mode, or when HA is configured on the host. Question 21. What will happen if a VM fails when SV motion was going on that VM and has not been completed yet? How this failure will be handled by HA? Answer. If a virtual machine needs to be restarted by HA and the virtual machine is in the process of being storage v motioned and the virtual machine fails, the restart process is not started until vCenter informs the master that the storage v motion task has completed or has been rolled back. Question 22. Will master election happen if a new ESXi that has visibility to more data stores than existing master is introduced in a cluster? Answer. No election will not happen even if the newly introduced ESXi has visibility to more data stores than master ESXi host. But if you reconfigure HA on the cluster then the newly added ESXi will become master because it is connected to more number of data stores. Question 23. If a slave ESXi has been removed from a cluster then will election be triggered again? Answer. No removal of slave ESXi from cluster doesn't have any impact on master. No election will be happening in this case.
Question 24. Does he seek assistance from Diaz before starting failover of failed VMs? Answer. Yes, Hadu takes assistance from DRS sometimes before starting the failover of failed VMs. If a cluster is configured with admission control policies and either specifies number of host failures cluster tolerates or percentage based policy is used then sometimes it may happen that resources are not fully available on single host and is scattered throughout the cluster. In that case, how will wait before performing failover of VMs and ask assistance of how to defragment the resources.